Hello, welcome back. I actually feel like quite a moron right now. <laughs> reason I'm back here in the Great Hollow is because I ran back here to get Clorinthy's ring, and on the way here, I found somebody I j apparently just didn't see. And unless he died in the two seconds I was gone, he should still be here. Our old friend Sig uh, Sigmire is over here. At least he was. Where are you? There he is. Hello. Mm hmm. Oh ho! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I. You see, I'm actually. I've made it. Um. But can you. Fan, thank you. A saint you are. This. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, buddy. Fantastic. Alright, you're done. Okay, now I'm gonna go get Clorinthy's ring. And then see if I totally screwed up the quest line and go back to the, uh, to the, uh, the, uh, the bonfire in the, uh, uh, yeah, Ash Lake, so I'll be back in a second. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry, folks, I've looked everywhere down in this crap hole for, uh, Sigmar. I can't see him. I think it's because every one of the, uh, octopus things down in the pit is dead. I think is the reason why he's not showing up for me right now. But what the hell? There's one octopus thing, but I think that one respawns. But I don't see him anywhere down here. Uh, unless you are. If, if you are, I feel horrendously blind. But uh, I don't see him. I've walked around this whole thing probably six or seven times. He's not down here that thing, but that's not what I'm looking for. So, yeah, at least I showed you where he was in Blight Town, so you don't just walk right past him. That's, that's something, I guess, but he should be down here after this. And all the, one, at least one of the octopus things down there, or those big eye monster things, have to be alive, I think, for him to be down here, so. Don't screw up like I did, folks, and that's how you do it. So, I'm going to use a homeward bone and go back, get some last minute stuff done, and then we can do Gwen. So, be back in a second. I'm sorry, I forgot to record before I talked to him. But yeah, Patches is now a merchant here. If you didn't kill him down in the Tomb of the Giants, you can also prostrate yourself with four people now if you talk to him. But the reason I came to him was I believe he has. Yeah, he has the masks, the, the ones you don't have. So, I'm going to buy the child and the mother since I don't have those. Not now. I don't want two of the child. There we go. Anyway, this is just last minute getting stuff you want before you the next playthrough. But I'd show you that he's here now, so be back in a second again. All right. After one NPC slaughter later. Huh. I mean, his name is Callus for a reason. That, and I really just wanted to get most of the stuff that you know you do before you. Uh, go fight the final boss in the Souls game. I went and bought some stuff that I didn't think he'd be interested in watching me on camera. Hey, wake up. <laughs> no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Well, stop acting like one. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Oh, just, you know, that, that thing you told me to do. I'm finally ready to do it, but you, you know what? No, it's, it's fine. Very well. Then, stay still for a moment. I think I'd be better off just jumping. You can do that. You can not just jump. I don't know why I did this. It seems, uh, somewhat suicidal and trusting of, a uh, old being. I guess because jumping down a deep, dark, uh, chasm just doesn't sit right with me. Just don't sit right. Alright. Now, we can finally sacrifice some souls. Because that's what heroes do. Except I'm not a hero, but alright.
gonna be honest, I actually always did it one by one. I thought I have to do that four times. Apparently not. And yeah, you can just walk right off the edge here and die. Don't do that unless you want to. This is fair warning. If you want help for this boss, I recommend not being human form. Unless you really, really need help. Because this is the PvP spot in the game. The only place that might be worse for PvP, or better, depending on your point of view, would be the forest. Or maybe even Anne Orlando, if it's dark. Needless to say, this is one of the big three spots for... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, yeah. I don't have my bow equipped because I want to have the Chlorothy's ring equipped. Sacrifices must be made. Now, this is not a very difficult journey to the final boss. If anything, it's actually quite underwhelming. It's just... Do you know how to deal with Black Knights by now? If you don't, you might not want to fight Gwen. It's basically the test of, can you actually, you know, do anything? It's really not hard. You just do what you normally do. Personally, I just, you know, do that. <laughs> now, if you're in human form, and you... Try and summon somebody up there, all you're gonna get is somebody wanting to PvP. If you want to get somebody to actually help you with Gwen, because it is a pretty uh, lucrative boss, I recommend that you summon somebody after the second Black, uh, Black Knight. Typically, if I want to help somebody kill Gwen, I put my sign back here, because not people wanting to PvP don't generally come back here. They all want to be up there near that, near the entrance. Just to. Just some advice if you want some help. This is also a good place to farm Black Knights and their weapons because they, they respawn here, so, you know, go nuts. By this point in the game, they're not really a threat. At least I don't think they're a threat, but... You know, is there anything up here? I, I didn't think there was, but maybe there is. A big old drop, that's what's up there. Don't know why they put this up here. I guess for PvP purposes. I don't know. Oh yeah, like the one place I actually like to have a bow, I don't have my bow. <laughs> now, it's not really that hard to uh, get through this without a bow. You just gotta be a little bit inventive about it. And by inventive, I mean you better have, you better be coordinated. Because he's charging at you, and you gotta run right across this little crappy thing. Unless you wanna fight on that little narrow thing. I don't wanna fight on that little narrow thing. That's how you get killed. Oh, Mr. Proper, you can't drop down two feet. Nah, no, that'd be too easy. Well, that's what Proper gets you in a fight. You know, a little bit of a hint. You might wanna face the right way before you block next time, buddy. On the serious side, though, folks, this little uh, uh, little walkway here, this little choke point, if you will, is just that. It's a great choke point. If you are in human form and you get invaded, or if you are helping somebody and they get invaded, if you're a phantom, I recommend camping or sitting your butt right around here. This little narrow thing, you, get, you want to stand right around here and your host can get in there. And, uh, basically you're just being a big choke point. So they, once they enter the fog, I think the Dark Wraith gets sent out. But, on the same note, once they get in that fog gate, get your butt over there. Because he's a very dangerous boss you don't want to leave your host alone alone with. Just, you know, little helpful tips. Tips for sun bros or people who just want to help. Just don't leave him alone in there with Gwen. He'll, uh, he'll rip him a new one. Speaking of Gwen, this is probably going to suck. My first time fighting Gwen, I had a hell of a time. And I'm not really that much better for my first time ever, so... Yeah. I'm going to try not to do the parry strategy, unless I just really fail hard. And then I might try and do the parry strategy, which makes absolutely no... Excuse me, sense. I'm gonna wait till the... I fail to do the harder strategy by learning how to parry. <laughs> One quick check here, make sure I got everything I need before I waltz in there. Uh, last check for everything. Okay, well, 
I bought all the stuff from Diamond Hall of Xena, I bought everything from... I think I got most of the armor, all the rings I want for the next playthrough, so... Before you step through this, make sure you got everything you want, because... If you get... if you actually do kill him, you can't come back out. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the final boss. Oh, damn. Holy crap, I managed to dodge that. Holy crap, I managed to dodge that again. Uh-huh. Nope. You can block his attacks, but yeah, they eat through your shield because they're fire. Just a little heads up. Oh, God. If you get hit, though, that's what happens. He don't give you much room to heal, either. Get away from me, manly person. You get away from me. God damn it. Get to the stalagmites. Stalagmites, help me. Damn it, stalagmites, that's not helping me. St stalagmites, are you, are you not corporeal? There you go. Now you try and grab, grab me. There you go. Hit him twice. And he staggers. If you have a small weapon, you basically... You get to do what I'm doing right now, but only hit him a couple times when he does that grabbing animation. Oh, crap. If you do need to heal, like I said, you gotta try and wait till he does that, that grab attack, and then try and heal and get the get the dodge, get the hell out of dodge. And try not to get grabbed, because that happens. Ow. I just failed. Oh god. Stop. Damn it, old King Alon, stop doing that. I'm sorry, go in. Thank you, good sir, for allowing me to heal. I don't think that was your intention, but it works. Oh, crap. Oh, come on! That was my stupidity. I'll admit it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All or nothing? I... Oh, God, no, no. I did it. <laughs> I was stupid when I did it. All or nothing turned into a stalemate there. <laughs> nope. Oh, come. For anybody wondering, this is about how I dealt with Flame Lurker too. Hug a stupid, hug a stalagmite, hug a pillar, and then hit him when he's hit him when he's vulnerable. Flame Lurker was uh, about like Manus was, but anyway, I'm back on topic here. I'm sure everybody is wondering if I actually managed to do this. What ending am I going to am I going to attempt to get here, or am I going to get rather? It's not exactly hard to get, but you shall you shall find out. Okay, stop swinging like a ninny. Stop doing that. Damn it! Stop! You're just eating through my shield, you jackass. That's what happens when you get greedy. Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to oh, no. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. I'll actually not be stupid this time.